Well, certainly a collective sigh of relief in several northern Colorado neighborhoods tonight as a teenager suspected of setting a series of fires has been arrested. It's a story we've been following for you for days now. Just since the new year, at least three vehicles were tor torched and other property items were burned as well. Neighbors we spoke to last week shared this doorbell camera video showing a person setting fire to a flag attached to a home. Now, this has been going on for months. Police believe the suspect responsible for the fires dating back to October throughout the Timbervine and Dry Creek neighborhoods in northern Fort Collins, as well as the Collins Air Park in Larimer County as well. Dylan Thomas is your reporter in northern Colorado. Spoke to one woman whose property was set on fire just a few days ago. Residents tell me they're grateful Fort Collins police made an arrest, but for many of them, this arrest came too late. Several of them telling me they're traumatized after an arsonist burned some of their property. It's terrifying. Monday night, Crystal Crow woke up to her neighbor pounding on her door to get out. I looked out the window and it was in flames. Her shed was engulfed in flames, a shed filled with flammable materials. We had propane tanks, a lot of explosive stuff. She grabbed her kids and ran. By the time we came across the street, it spread within seconds. The flames quickly spreading toward her son's bedroom. I was screaming the whole time. I felt like my whole home was going to be gone within seconds. I think it's traumatizing. My kids were in there and they had to see that. They had to experience that. They had to stand out there and watch everything go in flames and wonder if we were going to have a home. Traumatizing. The same words several other victims of likely the same arsonist since October 23rd of last year used. Cars, patio furniture, flags, all up in flames in the same nearby neighborhoods. Crow saying her neighbors might have saved her family's lives. If they wouldn't have came over when they did, we would have been trapped. Fort Collins police announced after 80 days of investigations, a juvenile has been arrested. Their name not released due to their age. While someone has been arrested, like her neighbors, Crow says the damage has already been done to more than just her property. I'm still worried. Even sleeping now, every time I close my eyes, I could see the flames. I'm a single mom and I work hard and this is the place that I call home. It was my security and I felt like it was taken away from me. The suspected arsonist in this case now faces felony charges, including arson that threatened someone's life. In Fort Collins, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first. Well, Dylan lives in northern Colorado. He is your reporter for Larimer and Weld counties. Call him at our tip line number and you can always email him through cbscolorado.com.